Hey guys, so for today's video, I have a makeup tutorial for kind of wearing bolder colors. So a lot of the times I get asked, hey Amy, I'm going to prom or I'm going to a wedding or an event and I have a blue dress or a red dress. And a lot of you guys ask me, what lip color do I wear? What makeup do I do? Mainly for the eyes and for the lips. So I was online shopping on Forever 21 and I came across this gorgeous, super shiny red bodysuit and it just caught my eye. So I decided to wear it today and it kind of made me think, wait, what makeup look should I do with this? Cause I don't want it to kind of like take away from the color that I'm wearing. And I also don't want it to look too clashy. I don't want it to look tacky. I don't want the colors to clash together. So it just made me think, hmm, what makeup look am I gonna do? So I figured I would actually film it and show you guys what I personally would wear um, when it comes to wearing a bolder color. So a red dress or maybe a royal blue dress, whatever you're wearing, if it's a bolder color and you want your makeup to look more subdued, more muted, but still glam, then this is the perfect look. So this look is super muted. I decided to go with all mattes. But what I love about this look is it is is super muted but it's still glam so i also just love this makeup look for any day to be honest because i just love how it's all matte but anyways um yeah hopefully you guys learned something from this video hopefully i can help you and hopefully you enjoy if you are interested in checking out how i got this makeup look then make sure to keep on watching so we're starting off with priming of course so i want my skin to look really fresh and natural but i also don't want it to look too dry or too glowy that's just me personally i honestly feel like you could definitely do a glowy look especially with the red dress i feel like a glowing um hydrating face would look beautiful but i don't know what it is with this because i think this um top this red top that i'm wearing right now is already it's like a satiny material it's actually a very shiny material so it's like a shiny red um i don't want to also do like a shiny you know glowy face i kind of want to do like a little bit more of a matte skin um, with just a little bit of a glow so i just applied the urban decay makeup rehab prep because it's really hydrating on the skin and i'm also just going to apply the max strobe cream so funny enough i've actually never used this so i can open it I'm gonna use my teeth. <laughs> I've actually never used this. I've only seen people use it, so I kind of know already what it does, um, but I've never used it before, so. We're gonna be using it for the first time today. I might have applied too much. <laughs> so I'm just gonna apply a little bit of this Ciate Dewy Stick right underneath my foundation, on the cheekbones, down the nose, top of my brow, a little bit here, and I'm just gonna blend it out with my fingers. You could also use, let's just use it. Uh, Sigma sponge. So for foundation, I'm going to use my fave. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I'm going to take Golden Beige and Desert Beige. So for concealer, of course, I'm going to use my Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the shade Light Sand, and I'm actually just going to try it out. I normally use a light medium, but sometimes I do want it to be a bit lighter, and they just recently sent me some shades. So let's see. Whew, that is light. So we might mix in a little bit of light medium still, but so first I'm going to blend out the center because I don't want the highlight to be too strong there. I'm just going to blend it out with the foundation side of my beauty blender. Now I'm switching over to the Sigma 3D HD. I'm actually not going to set my under eye with the Tarte Concealer. I can actually get away with not setting it because it dries down to a nice matte finish and I don't really experience much creasing, so I really like that about it. Um, but now I'm going to do some cream contouring. I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation Stick in the shade Amber and I'm just going to do like that up the sides here and I like to put a good amount right on the temples. Or sorry, not the temples. <laughs> the sides of my forehead. And I'm just going to put a little bit under the chin and also under the lip and the nose. So now I'm just taking the e.l.f. 103 brush. I love this for cream bronzing. A lot of you guys have been asking me about this brush lately. Um, I actually have it linked on my blog under shop my favorites if you guys are interested. It's my favorite brush to blend out cream contour. It has like the perfect density. So I am just going to take a little bit of powdered bronzer. This is the L'Oreal Glam Bronze. And with a light hand, I'm just going to set that cream bronzer. You can actually skip this step, especially if you have very dry skin. You don't even really need powder because the Anastasia foundation stick really dries down nicely. I love, love, love that foundation stick for cream bronzer. So this has quickly become my favorite cream contouring product because I love how it's not too, too liquidy. It is on the thicker side, so it just lasts longer and it does go well with more of a matte face, even though it reflects and it's a highlighter. 
I don't know if that makes sense, but it's just, it's a really cool, nice formula. You do have to work quickly with it, and my favorite way to apply it is on a beauty blender and then on the face. When I, I find that when I put it directly on the face, it is a bit tougher to blend out because if it's a thicker, drier formula, um, it just works better in my opinion if I take it on my finger, take it on my beauty, my, you know, sponge, whatever, this is the Sigma 3D HD, tap it out, and then I apply it where I want it. So pretty, like I love it. And put the leftover on my nose. And then now it's pretty much, you know, just leftover product. And now I'll kind of blend that out. And sometimes I'll take like whatever is kind of just sitting there left over and just put a little bit on the forehead. So for highlight, I'm just gonna apply a little bit. And this is the Anastasia Glow Kit with Nicole Guerrero. This has been like my favorite. I just, I can't get enough of it. I can't keep my hands off of it. Um, so I'm just taking the shade Glow Getter and I'm only taking a little bit and just applying a little extra glow. So for the brows, I still want them to be bold and defined, but I've been liking a little bit more of a natural brow. So I'm just going to take the Anastasia Brow Wiz and fill that in. I'll probably skip over this part since you guys have seen me do my brows before and we'll move on to the eyes. So my lid is pretty much primed with the Tarte Concealer, so we're gonna move on to the eyes. I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill palette because I just feel like it's such a versatile palette. Anytime I think of a look, I'm like, yeah, I can do that with my Jaclyn Hill palette. Only thing I'm gonna do other than the Jaclyn Hill palette is take a translucent powder and just make sure my eyes are set. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take the Morphe M502 and I'm gonna take the shade, what is this, Silk Cream, and I'm just gonna go ahead and dust that into the crease and also all over the lid, this is going to work as almost an invisible, invisible, ah, invisible transition. Um, this shade doesn't show up too much on my skin tone, so this is going to be just a very pale transition shade for me. I'm actually going to switch brushes just for a second here and take the Morphe M5, or sorry, the Sigma E40. This shade just adds like the palest transition. I feel like if you don't want to wear eyeshadow, but you just want like the slightest little bit, this is the shadow I would go for. So next I'm gonna take the M502 again. So silk cream and mix it with a little bit of pukey. So I'm just gonna take the brush, angle it upwards and really put it in here. I wanna make my um, crease look a little bit deep set, even though it isn't. <laughs> I'm really just gonna keep my eyes open and work this shade right in here. Picking up little by little and just continuously repeating that step, it's gonna make me look like I actually have more of a crease than I do, as you can see. Because my lid, like, I mean, I kinda have a little bit of a hooded eye, so my crease kinda disappears a little bit. So we're just gonna make it look deeper set. Going into the Sigma E40, I'm just gonna kind of buff everything out just to make sure everything is blended. So I'm actually gonna switch over a little bit to the Sigma E36 and I'm going to take Pukey again and do that same technique. And it's really going to emphasize that deep set crease effect that we're trying to give. So I'm gonna take Silk Cream with a tiny bit of Pukey and I'm just going to go over this outer area on the lid. I'm gonna take the shade Beam and I'm just applying that on the lid but just on the inner part of the lid, taking that fluffy brush again and blending it out just to give a slight ombre effect and I don't want that crease to disappear. So if the color Beam touches it like how it did, I'm gonna go over it with this brush just to make sure it doesn't do that. I'm taking a tad bit more pukey on that outer area, just on the very outer. I'm taking a tad bit of mocha and applying that into the crease again with that same technique, but I'm only taking a little bit because I really don't want this look to go and get too dark. So I'm taking a detailed brush. This is the Sigma E16. It's for tight lining, but I'm just gonna use this for um, the inner corner kind of area. I'm gonna take the same highlight that I used and I'm gonna put it right on the inner corner right here. Look how beautiful that is. But then I'm gonna take it and just bring it a little bit in here. So taking the Sigma E36, I'm gonna take Silk Cream and I'm really going to blend that underneath the eye. So now I'm gonna take Pukey 
And I'm not gonna bring it in as close as I did to Silk Cream. I'm just gonna start in the middle now to outer. Now I'm gonna take a little bit of Mocha and just on the outer, I'm not gonna bring it in as close as I did Silk Cream or Pukey. So now I'm just taking the black in the palette and I do not want this to be too dramatic. So all I am doing is pressing it down a little bit there. That is it. <laughs> I don't want too much black, too much drama, because again, we want this look to be super subdued and muted and really soft. So, yeah. What I am gonna do is take the Sigma E36 again, whatever product is left, left over on it, just run that over the black and it's just gonna really soften it up. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of mascara. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I'm just doing this to coat my lashes before we apply some falsies. So for the lips, I'm going to take Kylie Exposed Liquid Lipstick, but first I'm just going to outline with Kylie Exposed Lip Liner. And I am just gonna mix in a little bit of Dose of Colors Supernatural. So that is it for this makeup look, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I also really hope that you learned something. I personally love this look just for any any day, any outfit, but again, I think it just, it's perfect for a super colorful outfit so that you don't kind of take away from the dress you're wearing or the outfit that you're wearing. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and of course, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.